Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I did some more work on networking and I also started creating a new town for the game. In terms of the networking stuff there's actually still not very much that I can show you unfortunately and that's not because I didn't do much this week I actually programmed a huge amount of new code uh, but there's just not very much to show for it in the game. The main thing that I've been working on this week is properly syncing the movement of other players with the server and trying to eliminate things like lag and latency issues which hasn't been easy at all. But I have now finally managed to achieve a fairly smooth and accurate movement for other players in the game. The client is still syncing with the server around 8 times a second, but the client is now also predicting how the other players will move between updates from the server. The server sends the direction, speed and turn speed every time it syncs with the client, so the client can very easily extrapolate the other player's position using this data. Then when the server next syncs with the client, the error between the actual position and the predicted position of the other player is calculated, and then this error is gradually corrected by slightly altering the other player's movement over the next few frames. As you can see, this results in some pretty satisfactory movements, with the only slight issue being when the other client stops, because there's no way of predicting when this will happen, uh, and so the other player often overshoots the stopping position and is then slowly moved back to correct this error. I'm still in the process of fixing this though, and I should hopefully have it fixed pretty soon. I've also been doing a lot of work on multiplayer combat this week, but there's sadly nothing to show for it in game yet, but I'll definitely have some PvP to show you next week. On top of all the networking stuff that I've been doing this week, I also created a new town in the desert, using some of the models that you guys have been making for the game. If we have a quick look at the world map, the new town is going to be this little town right here. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the town now, so you can see us here coming up to the entrance of the town, and on the left you can see the first of the new models this week, which is this lovely defence tower with the ladder going up to the top of it there. Over here we've got the town centre and you can see that there's a market set up with a few market stalls, and also there's this new model in the centre here, this desert well. Over here we've got the rich part of town where the more important people in the town might live, and we've also got this new tower model which is looking very nice indeed. And that's pretty much all I've done so far in the town, there's just uh, a few more houses over here, but nothing else exciting. Uh, so yeah, that is the new desert town, I'm going to keep adding to it over the next few weeks, and hopefully it will end up being quite a nice little place. And finally, just a couple of new items in the game this week, there's this lovely horned helmet, and also this fantastic mace. So that is it for this week. Once again, not a huge amount of new features this week, uh, but next week I'll be finishing off the networking stuff by adding multiplayer support for combat, and then I'll be moving on to the more exciting topic of visual effects. Don't forget to check out my social media pages to see updates during the week, Links are in the description below, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a brilliant week, and I will see you all next time.